Good morning. It's Friday, May 10th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Enough, in our scripture, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. I think children probably understand this psalm better than adults. Somehow, perhaps by making poor choices or just facing the dark valleys through life, we become desensitized to what we really need. We long for material things, successful careers, and for people to take note of our accomplishments. Even if we get those things, they're fleeting and, in the eternal view, inconsequential. A survey of preteens was conducted years ago about what they wanted most from their parents. Among the top ten was such as taking a family walk and flying a kite together. There was not a single item that cost any money. However, every bit of it involved spending time together. King David had all those earthly things, wealth beyond measure, success in whatever he did, and the praise of the entire world. But this psalm reveals his heart. It tells us what was really important to this man after God's own heart. Let's investigate that heart and see what he knew was important. Topping David's list was peace. A sense of security, knowing your life really matters to someone else, topped the list. The idea of still waters and green pastures speak volumes from a shepherd. And then there's courage. Walking through life's dark valley, yet continuing to walk without debilitating fear, is the very essence of courage. Honor. In this psalm, God does the leading because it gives him joy to see his sheep cared for. That brings honor to God's name. At the psalm's end is God anointing David's head with oil, a symbol of honor. The God life is one of mutual respect and honor. And then there's mercy. That means nothing to somebody who hasn't sinned. But we all mess up. We make deliberate selfish choices. We all tend to wander from God like senseless sheep. The merciful hand of God brings us back to the fold. And then to complete the list, we have relationship. Dwelling in God's place forever is an expression of relationship that finds complete fulfillment in all God is and does. Forever hardly requires comment, and it's not quite comprehensible. How can you measure eternity? Howard Hughes was among the pioneers of the aircraft industry. Hughes Aircraft made him one of the richest and most influential people in the world. But as a diagnosed obsessive-compulsive disorder sufferer, he became a recluse. He lived in one hotel after another, and he was never seen in public. King David and those like Howard Hughes are a study in polar opposites. David was a man after God's own heart. Hughes was one running away from God's heart. What Hughes got was what he courted, and what David got was enough for eternity. For you today, what kind of life is enough for you? If King David's priorities are what you're seeking, hear what God advises, Jeremiah 29, 13. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. Take a moment to let that sink in. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.